In this video, we'll explore the must-have Fallout 4 mods for the fourth week of April 2024. A wide variety of mods have been released across different categories, and I'll be briefing you on the noteworthy ones that deserve your attention. Firstly, in terms of gameplay, there's the Karma mod. This mod introduces a karma system that dictates the consequences of a player's actions within the game world. For instance, harming innocent NPCs results in bad karma, negatively impacting the player's experience. Conversely, assisting those in need earns good karma, leading to positive outcomes. This mod enhances the immersion of the game, emphasizing the significance of player choices and bringing the world of Fallout 4 to life with greater vibrancy. Next up is Hot Diggity Redux. This mod completely overhauls the game's leveling system to make each character feel more unique. It diversifies existing builds and enhances the replayability of Fallout 4 by adding 12 skills and dozens of perks to the game. Additionally, it adds 50 new perks and 14 new attributes that offer significant benefits for expanding your character, drastically altering Fallout 4's gameplay and enabling players to make each character more individualistic and distinctive. Moreover, the new perks and skills add a new level of strategic depth to the game, ensuring a fresh experience with each restart. Next up is Anti-Stutter high CPU priority. This mod entails a simple registry edit that sets a high CPU priority for the game executable file. It can enhance performance on weaker CPUs and is primarily helpful in reducing stuttering. The mod automatically elevates the game process priority to mitigate stuttering caused by other processes, ensuring that the game consistently monopolizes most of the CPU usage and excludes other processes. However, while it aims to improve performance, it's not guaranteed and may occasionally worsen it, although the likelihood of that is low. Since its effectiveness can vary depending on the user's system, it's advisable to check compatibility with your system before use. Do you ever find it unnatural when settlers keep wearing the same clothes, no matter what they do? If so, Dynamic Outfitting is the mod for you. This mod provides settlers with the ability to change outfits based on their sleep time, work hours, and off-duty hours. By constructing a clothing store and assigning a settler to it in your settlement, or by connecting your settlement to another settlement with a functioning clothing store via a caravan, settlers' wardrobes get upgraded. They wear formal attire when operating a shop, work clothes when using a drill, appropriate farm attire when farming, and pajamas when sleeping. It's quite an innovative mod because the clothing changes based on what tasks settlers are performing in the settlement, enhancing immersion for players. In this segment, we'll talk about outfit-related mods. There are quite a few outfit mods released, so let's start with Obi's Cozy Classic Outfit. This mod provides beautiful and comfortable attire for female characters in the game. The outfit consists of a sweater top and jeans, the texture detailing, such as the folds and creases tailored to fit the body of the sweater, is exceptionally well done. Especially, the wrinkles and torn parts of the jeans are so realistic that they can be mistaken for real clothing. With its casual yet high quality design, this outfit stands out, making it the first one we introduce to you. Next up is the Vault Tech Mask MK2. This mod adds new masks for the player, enhancing immersion and allowing for personal expression of the character. The masks are crafted with high quality textures and designs to complement both suit style outfits and armor style attire. I particularly paired it with the Vault Tech suit. With this mod, players can choose from a variety of colors and styles of masks to create their own unique character. Next up is Obi's Vault Suit. This mod features a vault suit created by Obiknai, specifically for women, designed to accentuate the body's curves. It comes in two versions, one with a glossy finish and another without. The suit is meticulously crafted with folds and creases that accentuate the body's contours. If you prefer a vault suit with Obi's signature style, this mod is worth trying out. 
Next up is Girls Frontline 2 Jung Yu. This mod adds the outfit of the Jung Yu character from Girls Frontline 2 to Fallout 4. The character's thigh knife accessory is quite impressive. And while it may be challenging to pull off this outfit with the default race, players using custom races may find it quite complimentary. If you've enjoyed playing Girls Frontline 2, trying out this mod could be a good idea. In this segment, we'll take a look at some graphic-related mods. First up is Oppressor's Soccer Ball Replacer. This mod swaps out the kickball for a soccer ball. It was truly a stunning visual change. Seeing the ball took me back to my childhood instantly. Thanks to this mod, I was able to enjoy some fun times playing soccer with my good friend Michael Mutant, who lives at the Red Rocket gas station next door. Seeing Michael having a blast made me happy too. I'm looking forward to inviting Todd Howard and Lucy to join us for a game of soccer with this mod next time. Next up is the Grasslands LOD add-on. This mod completely transforms the atmosphere of the game by replacing the existing LOD based on Wasteland with one based on Grasslands. As someone who regularly uses Grasslands, I found that this mod greatly improved the distant views. It gives a greener feel, making it particularly recommended for players who appreciate nature or those seeking a more peaceful environment away from the post-apocalyptic ambience of the game. Next up is Better Military Cots. This mod replaces the default game's military bed mesh, adding bolt bedrolls, clean pillows, and snap points. As it's a replacer without an ESP, there are fewer collision concerns, and it offers the advantage of being installable during gameplay. Now you can experience a more hygienic commonwealth, with military beds replaced by clean bedrolls and pillows. Lastly, I'd like to introduce some weapon-related mods. I'm planning to introduce roughly two, and first up is the Makeshift 32 SMG, Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. It's a part of the Weaponry Expansion SMG series, adding the Boar's SMG that uses a 32-round magazine to the Commonwealth. This mod offers custom models, textures, and animations, particularly providing a realistic shooting experience with the handmade appearance of the Boar's SMG. It expands Fallout 4's arsenal, adding this weapon to the level lists, and allowing players to acquire unique variants at certain locations. Next up is the World War II Soviet Nagant M1895 Revolver. This mod adds the Nagant M1895 Revolver to the game. This weapon was used as a standard sidearm by the Russian and Soviet armies during World War I and the Russian Revolution. The single action receiver uses vanilla animations, while the double action receiver uses F4NV revolver animations. You can craft the World War II Soviet Nagant revolver at the chem station. And if you prefer revolver handguns, I recommend trying out. Thank you for joining us in exploring the latest Fallout 4 mods for April 2024. From immersive outfits to dynamic gameplay changes, these mods add new dimensions to your wasteland adventures. Remember, each mod offers a unique way to enhance your gaming experience. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the latest and greatest mods for Fallout 4. And if you have any favorite mods from this month or suggestions for future videos, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Happy modding, and may your wasteland journey be filled with excitement and discovery. Until next time.